Welcome to ECE 226, Assessment and Guidance of the Young Child. My name is Lori Marmerstone and I will be your instructor for this fully online course. I'm excited to get started with our fall semester. I wanted to take a few minutes to briefly walk you through the Blackboard site for this course and point out a few items. To begin, you will always enter the Blackboard site on the Announcements page. If you haven't yet read the welcome announcement that I posted, please be sure to do that. I do post a lot of announcements throughout the course of the semester, especially since this is an online class, so please be sure to check this link often. Whenever I post an announcement, I always email a copy of that announcement as well, and that will go to your Harper email address. If you don't always check your Harper email, then please be sure to forward your Harper email to an email address that you do check regularly. The next item that I'd like to point out here on the left is the faculty and department information link. This information has my contact information as well as the contact information for our department coordinator Kathy Nikolai. If you need to reach me by phone, my conference hours are Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays from 12 to 2 p.m. If you would like to schedule a face-to-face -face conference, we can do that through a virtual meeting since we're not meeting on campus this semester. If you'd like to schedule a virtual conference, please just email me and we can schedule that. The best way to reach me is through email, so feel free to email me at any time. I usually get back to you that day, but please allow me at least 36 hours to respond. The next link over here on the left is the syllabus and course outline link. Any time that you need to reference the syllabus or want to look at the course schedule, you can find that information is in this link here. It will be posted for your reference for the entire semester. Please be sure to take time to read through the syllabus carefully as there's a lot of important information in there regarding the course, expectations, guidelines, and assignments. Um, so this link here, the weekly learning modules, is one of the most important links that you'll be accessing this semester. The weekly course modules link will be accessed to find the course content that you will need to complete on a weekly basis. Currently, I just have the orientation week populated in this module, as I don't like to populate the course site too much in advance, because I like for us to work in the present so that I know that you're truly grasping the content before we move on. So please click into this module for this week to see what you will need to complete by Monday, August the 31st. So I'll go ahead and click in here just to show you some of the information all of the things that you need to complete are here in blue on the left hand side and then once you click on each of these items it will show up here to the right so make sure that you go through this and complete anything that I've provided for you to complete this week. Um, the course modules will open on or before Monday of each week and you will have until the following Monday to complete your assignments. For the orientation week, there's a lot of information to help you become acquainted with the course and the Blackboard site. And if you have any questions regarding anything, again, don't hesitate to reach out to me. Below the weekly course modules link here is the discussion board link. Um, we'll be using the discussion board on a consistent basis to check for your understanding and application of course content each week. So each week the course module will link you to the discussion board directly, um, but if you ever needed to just access the discussion board independently, then you can just click on it right here in this location here. The last two links that I wanted to bring to your attention are the assignment explanation videos link and the observation information link. Um, we won't be doing in-person observations this week or this year because of the COVID restrictions. We're not allowed to require students to go and do center-based observations this semester. Um, but there are a couple of, of assignments that do require some observation information for you to complete them. So I will be doing video observations. So I'll be providing some videos for you to watch and then using that information in the videos to apply to the assignments. And so I'll have more information about that up um, in the near future. So those assignments aren't due for a while, um, so I'll get that information up as the time gets closer for those assignments to be due. And then the explanation information, um, ex 
excuse me, the assignment explanation videos link here. Um, that information will be coming soon as well. Anytime we have a big assignment, a core assignment that to do, those will be the assignments that you see at the end of your syllabus. Um, I like to provide a video to explain those guidelines and expectations in detail. I find that it's a lot um, clearer and easier for students to understand those assignments when I'm able to actually walk you through and verbally explain um, all of those expectations to that assignment. So again, I will be providing some more videos about those um, in the near future and you will find those there. So once I do get information posted in these two links here, I'll put out an announcement to let you know that there is content in those um, links so that you can access that information as well. So those are the links that I just wanted to point out for our course. Um, if you have any questions about anything, don't hesitate to reach out and contact me. Um, I just wanted to welcome you again to the course. Um, I am here to help you to be successful um, in this course. So again, don't hesitate to contact me. Um, make a plan now to set yourself up for success by scheduling the time you will work on assignments for this course. Um, since this is a three credit hour course, you should expect to spend that much time each week going through the Blackboard site and completing the material in the course modules. Um, you may need to even spend some additional time completing any written assignments that are due that week as well. Um, so schedule that time now so that you know that you've given yourself enough time to complete each week's assignments. Um, and if you find yourself falling behind or not understanding something, again, please don't hesitate to reach out to me. I want to help you to be successful. Um, reach out early if you find yourself falling behind. Reach out early if you find that you're not able to complete some of the work. Don't go, you know, three, four, five weeks without doing any work and then come to me at the end and ask for help. Come, and come to me early and we'll be able to make a plan for your success. So I'm excited for this semester. I'm excited to get started. So welcome again to the class and we'll be seeing you online soon.